Welcome, everyone. Welcome to CHI's 10th National Leadership Conference. The energy uh, is pretty profound here. It's definitely energizing because it gives me that insight as a board member to, to kind of see how I can better serve my team and my community. It is energy. You, you, you feel the energy that's here, but it's also a, um, an inspiration. I'm uh, amazed and gratified at how the Catholic Health Initiatives is still taking inspiration from the sisters, the early sisters who founded all these hospitals, uh, from the women who created Catholic Health Initiatives. Listening to some of the presentations, going back to the original vision of the sisters when they formed CHI, it's all coming together in a very meaningful way. It's an opportunity to be anchored again. You reminded the mission why we're here for, uh, connecting with uh, the diversity of the institution that we have and the mission, the ministry that is truly across the nation, across multiple different uh, socioeconomic uh, entities, different religious backgrounds, uh, and it's an opportunity for fellowship too. I've enjoyed the time I've had to spend with my fellow colleagues from around the system. It's the camaraderie. You know, when I come to the leadership conference, it's, it's getting together, it's the enthusiasm, it's meeting other people and, and supporting what each of us does. I have to do my part and you have to do your part and uh, uh, but, you know, all of that added together is going to move us in the direction, uh, hopefully, that we want to go. I think more, what I'll really take away from the conference is the, is the theme, Why Bridges? It is just so timely and so appropriate for where we are today. The idea of building bridges as opposed to building walls, as opposed to working in silos, and understanding that really honestly if we're going to survive and thrive, uh, not just as a community but even as a society, it's time. I think the issue for us in building bridges is our dealings with the community. We have to have a broader view of health than just hospitals. The industry, as we all know, is in an era of transformation where we're moving from, as I loved what Father Tom said earlier, an era of doing things for and to others to an era of where we're doing things with others. So we're moving from that traditional, what we've always understood of hospitals and sick care to an era of wellness and prevention. There's a lot of best practices that are happening around the country and for us to be able to take some of those nuggets and bring it back to our communities, bring it back to our regions, and, and in many cases, learn the best of the best and bring it back uh, to that specific, our particular area will be absolutely stunning and wonderful for us. Our board here leaves inspired by our legacy, encouraged by where our future is taking us, and filled with hope that we can do the work we have to do. I have found that our plans are built in a, in a very strong way. We have the right trajectory in terms of where we need to grow and make some changes. Um, so I'm very proud of being part of this leadership group and also being, uh, being a proponent of, of pushing us to another level.